Hey everybody, Corey here with Wargamer Society. So, last year I uh, I attempted the July painting challenge, and just due to a lot of stuff that was going on with me at the time, it ended up uh, I think got through about the first week or so of it before I just kind of disappeared off the face of the planet. So, for all of you who subscribed up to my channel and um, were following me, I apologize profusely for just uh, disappearing like that. So I'm not dead, and um, we're going to give this another shot this year, so hopefully things work out. Um, I work a lot now. I've moved since since uh, my last upload. So I'm setting the bar a little bit lower for myself. Hopefully I can uh, get, get my new stuff painted up this time. And... Um, so uh, let's go on with what I'll be painting. As uh, some of the more perceptive of you may notice, my uh, table is empty because, and that is because I don't actually have the models that I'll uh, that I'll be painting just yet. They should be in hopefully uh, tomorrow. Hopefully, but um, so until then, everybody enjoy this video of this nice fine wood grain table here. I don't even think it's actually wood, but anyways. So, I'll, uh, this year I'll be painting up the Legion of Everblight. Uh, for those of you who don't play War Machine or Hordes, um, uh, they've actually got a pretty good following for that game here in Privateer Press in general. They're a great company. Um, and I encourage everybody to look into them. It's a very fun game. And I'll be uh, painting up some models from that, um, but uh, just to kick it off, a little bit of information on the Legion. In the War Hordes universe, dragons are kind of a uh, kind of a big deal, and it all started off with one dragon named Toruk, who was the only dragon, probably the baddest thing on the planet. So, well, one day Toruk decided that he was a little bit lonely. And he wanted to make more dragons, and, and uh, dragons in um, War Machine are kind of like liches in in uh, Dungeons and Dragons or most most settings that uh, some of y'all are probably more familiar with. They uh, they have a it's essentially what amounts to like a phylactery. You can't kill them unless you destroy this. And right offhand, I can't think of exactly what it's called. I think it's called an I think they have an I think. Um, which basically houses their dragon soul. So, Torque took his Athank out and broke it into a whole bunch of pieces and uh, to make more little mini dragons. And without realizing that being the egotistical, mega, me blah, 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 um, megalomaniacal being that he was, didn't really quite think of the fact that all the little dragons that he made would be exactly the same way. And most of them initially turned on Toruk, and um, when a dragon devours the Athank of another dragon, it gains its power. So all the dragons immediately started killing each other, trying to uh, one-up the next one and become more powerful. Toruk kind of got a little upset about all this, so just decided to um, eat most of them and uh, regain his power back and kind of scratch that up as a failed experiment. So... Uh, one of these dragons was named Everblight, and Everblight was not a very powerful dragon. He was pretty weak, actually. But his true strength lied in his cunning. He was smart. See, when a uh, dragon dies, if his Athank isn't destroyed, he can regenerate from it. Can, being the operative phrase They don't necessarily have to. They can remain kind of disembodied. So, um, when Everblight got destroyed, he chose not to regenerate himself, and instead stay as this kind of disembodied power. And um, he started spreading it around initially with this uh, big ogren named Thagrosh, and um, took over essentially the Dark Elves, and uh, had each of their major power figures... Um, he had each of their major power figures, uh, their leaders, chieftains, and um, so on. Each one of them would uh, in put a piece of Everblight's Athank, a little shard of it, a little sliver of it, inside them. 
thus connecting them all with the kind of growing hive consciousness of Everblight, which gave them control over to over his minions. And he um, instructed them through this kind of shared mental network of how to make dragons spawn. And um, so, for those of you who don't know the game mechanics of War Machine and Hordes, basically, it uh, the main your main commanding figure is your Warcaster for War Machines and your Warlock for Hordes. And um, Legion of Everblade is a Hordes army. And the main thing that they do, their biggest strength, aside from being spellcasters and the general of your army, is that they can command Warjacks for War Machine and War Beasts for Hordes. More or less the same thing, but not exactly. The um, and this is what the the devouring of of Everblades, I think, is what allowed them to control all these uh, dragon spawn that they were making, which are your war beasts in game. So um, I'll be starting off with the Legion battle box. It um, comes with a warcaster, which is a uh, Lilith Prime Lilith, and comes with. Uh, a Carnivian heavy war beast and four Shredder lesser war beasts. So that's um, that's enough to get you started and enough to get you play with. And uh, so hopefully those will be in tomorrow. I'll be painting them in the standard scheme. And for those of you who are following me on my um, Space Marine attempts last year, you'll know that I was painting with an airbrush. This time I've I've realized over any painting that I've done, what little painting I've done in the um, recent times, that I've been relying way too much on my airbrush. Um, I like it, it's useful, it helps with a lot of things, but it uh, has made me get very sloppy with my brush work. It's, a, it's not like riding a bike. You have to keep, keep working with it to maintain the skill, so I've become very sloppy with my brush work. So uh, we're going to set the, set the airbrush aside for this one, and these will be painted up completely by brush so um, we'll uh, we'll see how these look and uh, hope you enjoy uh, hope you enjoy following along with me root me on we're gonna try to do this this year <laughs> 